City of Patterson, we respond to 143,000 calls for service every year. Every officer is, is responding to 10, 20 to 30 uh, calls uh, for service every day. Uh, this is not like a small town where you're getting one or two calls or three calls. Here you're constantly moving. There's no time to, uh, there's no downtime. So you're constantly going from job to job to job. But when you're in a city like Patterson, that's almost the norm. I've been an officer for a year and about six months now. Well, the layoffs will affect me uh, in a way, that, you know, how I provide for my family financially. That's the main thing. If they laid off 150 cops, uh, we're going to have our hands full. Uh, crime will certainly go up three folds. Summer's around the corner, so it's going to be a uh, very interesting and very busy, to, to say the least. Crime will pick up a thousand percent, no questions about it. No police, how I work here. I need a hundred percent more police officer in the South Madison. I feel that, that sometimes the misconception of, of policing is, is totally wrong, and, and I'll tell you why. I've been here for 26 years as a police officer, and everybody thinks that it's all about fighting crime and, and arresting people and, and uh, just doing policing, but the reality of this is that as a police officer, you want to build relationships uh, with the community, with people that you patrol, people that, that you get involved with every day. And, and what that does is it makes it easier for a police officer to work in, in the neighborhood by knowing people. Um, it's in regards to a viol violation of TRO. It's a report. Homie on a 1023 New Jersey tag. 10 4. 17, I'm out on Van There's no workforce out there for a 30-something year old female to go and attempt to become a cop somewhere else. It's what I wanted to do, it's the city I was raised in, it's the city that I want to stay in, and it will affect me deeply. I mean, we did, we did almost close to 100,000, or if not more than 100,000 jobs last year with the small amount of officers we have here. I mean, from the time we walk into this building and we hit the road, we're going to a job. That's what it comes down to. So the city gets rid of these people, uh, you think people are going to complain? I mean, people already complain over time getting to a specific job. Uh, it's going to be worse. And with the mention of the layoff, Patterson already had three murders already in the, yeah. within the last week of mention of the layoff. And with, with, with the gangs and everything in the city, how are we, how are we going to protect our, you know what I mean, the, in, the innocent? It still need more police mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. Not less. Not less. Well, we need more. You lay off 50 or up to 150 officers and now you've just deteriorated the police department or the, their effectiveness, their efficiency within the city. We, we do need our cops back. We don't want to lose no firemen, we don't want to lose no cops. We don't want to lose no services in Paris. We will always be the good guys. And the funny thing is that when you pick up that phone and you dial 911, we're there. Whether we're underpaid, overpaid, un, uh, uninsured or overinsured, uh, pension or no pension, we come to you. Uh, we, we go towards the gunshots. We don't run away. We're always there. We, we, we were there in the past. Uh, we're here in the present. And uh, I can guarantee you that law enforcement will be there in the future.